Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage. Version, what we regret most in life. A hilarious mystery music show that is performing around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the session leader for this much anticipated segment on Korea's freshest content, the managing director of K7 Media, Ms. Carrie Louise Brown. Thank you very much. Well, I think you'll all agree that is one seriously impressive showreel. Very, very good. Um, yes, so my name's Kerry Lewis Brown, and the format of this session is that um, our speakers here today will each have two titles to introduce to you. Um, they will show some clips and tell you about the shows. Um, and then after the session, you're all invited to a networking lunch um, outside. The, the session room. So before we get going, I'd just like to everybody to introduce themselves. So on my right. Yes, I am Hei Wen Hyun from KBS Media. It is a very pleasure to meet you. Hello, my name is Helena Chang from CJENM. Nice to meet you too. Hello, my name is Christine Kim. I'm from JTBC. Nice to meet you. Hello, I am Wan Sub So from TKS. Glad to see you. Okay, so here we all are. Um, okay, so hey, well, well first, um, I would like to congratulate you, not personally, perhaps, <laughs> <laughs> on the success of The Good Doctor. Thank you. That is fantastic. I mean, I think we can safely say it's one of the top, um, mm -hmm. top dramas in mm -hmm. the world at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's even number one in the UK. Right. Um, so how has that impacted your company? Actually, I'd rather say it impacted to Korea because um, it proved the Korean uh, scripture very well within, and it broke the prejudice that the Korean contents are for Asia, and uh, we know that it is universal, so. Yeah, very yeah, good, thank you. congratulations. Okay, so would you like to introduce your first show? Oh, sure. Uh, the first format that I brought here is one of our scripted format, which launched in May this year. It was quite successful, especially among the people in their 20s and 30s. 
So um, this is the story of the four young people who tried to take their own ways to, um, despite the hard uh, reality. The main male character, Dong Man, he was a promising Taekwondo player until one mistake ruined his career. Uh, he, but being optimistic, he never stopped dreaming and he uh, decided to be an MMA fighter. And actually, he was um, the very, very best friend of Era, the female character. But he now feels something else for her. So we will see the romance as well. And the, the main female character, Era, she has dreamt of becoming an anchor person. But in reality, she is just an information desker at a department store. But watching Dongman chasing for another dream, she decides to be the first female MMA announcer in Korea. And the, the other two are uh, the friends as well, and they have been together for six years until they, have, uh, they face a crisis working at the same company. So well, let's look at the video clips and find out how they fight for the, their ways. キレクテンバイクがいった。オドナルプコイった。トロッケトリンダ。世界を拡散されることになったテクワン少年。ね、ご客人、チンデギ方面を完了しているんですよ。ニュースデスクへ行こうと思ったマイク少年は。ニュース
winning team, uh, actually the, the player who gets fewer votes from the panel is eliminated from the competition. And um, okay, well, let's, see, let's see the clip. All right. Yep, sure. Okay. A head-to-head -head death match. It's all about victory for the team. The battle begins. It's singing battle. Singing battle is a brand new music competition show with head-to-head -head singing matches for the team. Fiery vocals and fierce strategies keep you on the edge. Four teams compete. They each have a coach and three team players. Players in head-to-head -head matches take turns singing lines to a song. They must overpower the opponent with their own style and flair. 13 judges cast their votes. The defeated is knocked out, and the winner survives to face the next player. The winner's team strategizes in their dugout to choose an opponent they can beat. But the opponent mounts defense by choosing his or her favorite song. When the other player seems unbeatable, coaches can use a hidden card to summon a legendary singer as a substitute player. One by one, players are knocked out as teams strategically choose their opponents and songs. A team is completely knocked out when all three of its players are defeated. The last two players face off in the final round. The final players standing brings victory to their team, and they become the champion team. With heroes and a champion team in every episode, thrilling excitement and heartwarming performances await you in this brand new music competition show, Singing Battle. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay, so there, obviously there's quite a few singing shows out uh -huh. there. Um, so what makes this one different? Actually, the difference of this uh, this show is that the strategy of the producer is as important turned out as the the performance of the player. So you, it is interesting to see a one an individual competition and the team bell at the same time, right? And so we often compare the show to the sport game. So you could call it a music sport, sport game, game, right? Okay. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, so for our next guest, I'm afraid it's me, um, because SBS couldn't be here with us today, so I said I would introduce their clips for them. So uh, the first one is called The Traveller's Guide to My Room, and I would describe this as a life swap travel show for the Airbnb generation. And SBS told me that when they were researching the show, they found that young, the younger generation, when they're traveling, um, they're not so interested in the temples and the cathedrals. They don't want to see all the tourist spots. They want to see how people like themselves live in other countries. So um, the format takes four celebrities who swap their rooms with a counterpart in another country. And before they go, they leave a guide to their room and uh, introduce them to their friends. And it's actually very comedic. Uh, so let's see the clip. Have you heard of the new holiday trend, Home Exchange? Already, around 100,000 people are traveling the world thanks to a home swap holiday. In order to experience this new trend, we opened a global room matching center. Here's how we did it. 
These are the people who will go through the home exchange experience. They are people who are seeing a turning point in their lives. <laughs> There are a few essential steps they need to take before starting a week-long home swap. First, they fill out the application form. Uh, good morning. Do you live in a city or in a village? Now, they are done with matchmaking. Before leaving their own rooms, they must leave a guide to my room for the visitors. This guidebook can include village maps, to-do lists, calligraphy, or even video clips. With the help of the guidebook, they will dive into the daily lives of others. Oh, just one more thing. They not only lend their own rooms, but they also lend their best friends. We're Destiny? Destiny! I'm great, how are you? These special assistants will help the visitors make use of the Guide to My Room. I try your life, you try my life. How will this special experience affect our lives? The Traveler's Guide to My Room. I thought we were going to get the nice SBS sting there. Um, so as you can see, casting's very, very important to that show. Um, and they've been very imaginative. So um, swaps included a monk swapping with a Dutch jazz trio. And the former gymnast that you saw there, she swapped with a Danish political commentator. So interesting stuff. And obviously perfect for um, both co-production and travel sponsorship. Uh, the next show is called Hit the Road Chef. Now, this evolved um, from a sort of similar food uh, sort of business show in Korea um, called The Nation's Big Three, in which a very, very well-known food entrepreneur went around Korea choosing the three best restaurants uh, for a certain food cuisine, uh, say Korean barbecue, and then invited the three um, restaurants to cook in the studio uh, to choose the, the, the best of all. Um, and this show, Hit the Road Chef, has evolved from that in that it's the same uh, food entrepreneur who is the key figure in the show, and it has involved the same production team and uh, indeed the same slot. Um, but this format sees um, rookie food truck owners, so they're all quite young, um, setting off on um, their business venture. And this guy mentors them and helps them to make as much money as they can out of the business. So let's see the trailer. This is the heart of the city, right here. You are about to witness seven teams of street chefs transforming themselves into successful businessmen with the help of the mentor with a Midas touch. SBS proudly presents a new culinary entertainment format. Hit the road, chef. In this format, these desperate food truck rookies will be taken care of by their mentor, the franchise genius. Here are the three steps. Step one. Observation. The mentor will observe contestants every move for an entire day and figure out what they're getting wrong. Step two, meet the mentor. Step two has contestants meeting their role model for the first time. And there's nowhere to hide from his ice cold criticism. Step 3 Training. Each contestant gets one month to upgrade their food. They'll be given the perfect solutions to their problems through one on one coaching with the mentor. Now they are ready to hit the road. In the next season, 
which city and which hopeless food will be saved by the Midas of the food industry. Hit the road, chef. Got it that time. Um, and apparently that show's been really, really popular and young people have actually been going to these areas where the food trucks have been um, and taking selfies and inevitably promoting the show. Um, so if you're interested in either of those shows, let me know and I'll pass the information back to SBS. Okay, business is now resumed. Hello, Helena. <laughs> um, Helena from CJENM. Would you like to introduce your first show? Uh, our first show is Shadow Singer. And actually, we thought there are many singers who are really good at singing but not famous. And we thought maybe the reason why they are not famous is just because they didn't have enough chances to show their singing and performance to the audience. So, uh, so Shadow Singer wanted to uh, lend celebrity clone singer to them and let them show how good they are through celebrity clone singer on the stage. And actually, with this way, we could bring unknown singers into the light. Let's look at the trailer. Will people remember me? Everyone keeps telling me that I can't be on stage due to my appearance. When I see someone on stage, I think to myself, that should be me. The stage is just a few steps away, but it seems so far away. Please welcome the Shadow Singer. But they are not singing for real. Someone else is singing in the shadows. Bringing shadow singers into the light. Shadow Singer. The shadow singers are matched to their clone singer. After one week of practice, the clone singer must become the shadow singer on stage performing while lip syncing to the live singing of the shadow singer who is behind the stage. By borrowing the appearance and fame of a celebrity clone singer, shadow singers battle it out to outshine the others with only their voice. The winner moves on to the next round while the loser is given one last chance to sing. In the next episode, four new shadow singers challenge the winning shadow singer. The celebrity panelists and audience vote for the performance that they like the most. The winner of each episode releases a single in their name and gets another chance to sing their hopes and dreams. Please step out into the light. Shadow Singer. Looks very sophisticated. <laughs> Um, so, I believe you've already taken that show to MIPCOM in October in Cannes, so um, what kind of feedback did you get there? Especially it's famous in countries where adapted I Can See Your Voice, one of our very interesting music entertainment shows. And I can't name it right now, but we are, we are close to deal right now. So. Very good. And can you tell us um, what's, what's happening with I Can See Your Voice? Oh, now we have uh, six different I Can See Your Voice international versions, and we are planning to have an exciting and interesting event with them. So we're going to check in next January. <laughs> so what will happen in January? Oh, so we would like to invite some good contestants from different countries. We're adapted our I Can See Your Voice, and we're going to make special episodes. I together. see. So you have an international version yes. with um, people from the six episodes. That's fantastic. Good. Yeah. Well, maybe one day they'll all come from Shadow Singer as well. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, would you like to tell us about the next show? Our next show is Love at First Song. Uh, we know people like dating show, and we also know people like music entertainment show. And so what we did was creating a hybrid dating music entertainment show. At the beginning of the show, 
uh, female contestants and male contestants are matched only with their musical taste, not with their appearance, not with their money, and even not with their sexual appeal. Also, while they practice for their uh, first year stage, actually they cannot see each other. The very first moment when they can see each other is when they get more than 50% of the audience votes on the first duet stage. After that, they can choose if they want to go on a date and also they want to go to the next round together to compete with other couples. Uh, usually, romantic and competition doesn't come together, but in our, in our show, we have both. Let's look at the trailer. Can people find true love through music? It is so easy to see dysfunction between Can two people fall in love at first song? Love at first song. Singles who wish to find their soulmate through music are paired based on song choice. Without seeing one another, the matched pair practice for a duet performance for one week. On the day of the duet, they get the chance to see one another. But first, they must move the audience with their duet. Now, the choice is up to them. They must decide whether to cross the bridge and continue singing the climax of the duet to become a couple. Look at me now, I'm falling. The 10 couples formed are given one delicious week to get to know one another. They must also prove their chemistry, harmony, and synchronized beat in the duet competition, showing off their own colors in a diverse range of musical genres and performances. Which couple will be in sync with the music? A hybrid music dating show that will make your hearts beat. Love at first song. Oh, very romantic. So can you tell us a bit about the production? Uh, in Vietnam, we're going to premiere it in January, next January, and we almost finished casting. So you haven't started production yet, you're still in pre-production? Still in pre-production. Yeah. And this is the first production? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Okay, um, let's move on now to Christine. Oh, um, this is... From JTBC. Yeah. yeah. Hi, this is Christine from JTBC. Uh, first, I would like to introduce our hottest drama called The Lady in Dignity. The Lady in Dignity, as you can see from the title, is the story of two women, their dignity and how their fate crosses. So one beautiful woman you can see on the left side is married to a rich CEO's son and she has been living happily, but later she loses her everything and she divorces her husband because of her husband's affair. However, even though she hits the rock bottom, in the end, she gains back her dignity and finds her dream as a designer. On the other hand, another woman from a lower class, you can see on the right side, wants to climb up the state status and become the high class as she enters into the household of the family, CEO's family, and she becomes the caregiver. She seduces him, she even marries him, and she takes over the household and the company. However, she feels empty inside and she loses her dignity, and in the end, she gets killed. So let's watch this interesting drama. Cute 
기회를 주셔요. 정말 잘 모실게요. 지는 회장님 맹을 정성으로다가 고쳐드리고 싶어요. 너 얘기했냐? 집에서 간병아 요양사 구하라고. 오늘도 했어. 며느리한테 말해보겠다는데? 채용 된 건가요? 내일부터 1위로 출근하시면 돼요. 젊어 보이셔야죠. 회장님, 남자야. 너같이 쓰레기 같은 인간이 마음대로 하도록 내가 내버려 둘줄 알아? 주제 파악해, 박복자. 넌 그냥 이집 하녀야. 우리 시아버지 간병인. 알아? 저 건들지 마세요. 잘못하면 네가 쫓겨나. 시아버님 간병인이요. 미처 자세히 알아보지 못했어요. 좋은 사람 같았거든요. 사기 횡령 전과가 있던데요, 7년 전에. 누가 여야! 아들 앞에서 개망신 당하기 전에 박복자! 멈춰, 당신! 여기서 멈춰! 마침 다들 모였으니 이 사람과 결혼할 생각이다. 앞으로 모든 결정은 내가 합니다. 알았어요? 모든 일에는 단계가 있어요. 시간이 필요해요. 세상엔요. 속전속결해야 될 일이란 것도 있어요. 왜저 여자는 다 잃었는데도 하나도 꿀리지가 않냐. 저 여자처럼 되려면 내가 뭘 해야 돼. 원하는 게 뭐예요? 말을 봐요. 원하는 게 뭔지. 지가 원하는 건 그녀의 모습으로 살아보고 싶다. 이것은 나와 나를 꿈꾸던 그녀의 이야기다. 그래서, so, Christine, wow. <laughs> I was going to ask you, well, I will ask you why it's so popular, but I just wanted to say that I watched it and I was completely gripped. It's incredible. Um, and one of the reasons I liked it was because those two characters I sort of couldn't work out which one to sympathise with. You know, one minute I felt sorry for the caregiver, and you know, the other minute I felt sorry for for the posh lady. Um, so, but that was just my perspective. But what what have you found in Korea that the the audience has felt about it? So this drama is a bit different from a lot of other dramas in Korea in that first it's a story about two women. Uh, most of other dramas. It's a story between a man and a woman, or usually the bromance is um, one of the key um, leading storyline. But here you can see the woman's a new trend in Korea about two women and how their fate crosses. And as you can, as you said, um, you don't know who to sympathize with. And since the maid wants to become like the lady in dignity, um, she admires the rich, um, beautiful lady, and you can just sympathize with either one of them. And secondly, this drama is interesting in that this story, episode one, begins with the maid's death. Um, so you know that she dies at the very beginning of the drama, and as the drama flows, you, as a viewer, can guess who might be the real killer throughout the whole episode. And I think that's a key point because it really involves the viewers into the story. Um, and finally, this drama is talking about dignity. Um, as you can see in this materialistic world, um, this drama shows that a true dignity is not just about material wealth or high status, but it is actually pursuing happiness. Yeah. And I'm right in thinking it's um, based on true stories? Uh, yeah, some yeah. of the cases are based on the true yeah. stories as well. That might make it feel more authentic. Yes, yeah. actually it is. Yeah, yeah. And um, am I right in thinking there's uh, the writer has written another show that's popular on air at the moment? Yes, our actually our most popular um, drama in Southeast Asia is called Strong Girl Bong Soon. Many of you might have seen it. It's also on Korean air if you fly. Um, so this drama has been sold to all the major Southeast Asian countries. And also, we recently made um, the shopping agreement 
with the U.S. Um, so we hope that it's going to be aired in the United States soon as well. So that one's called Strong Girl Bond Soon. And the reason I know about it is because my son's girlfriend watches it in the UK and she told me about it. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's travelling, that one. Um, okay, we, can you tell us about your next show then, please, Christine? Mm -hmm. uh, the next show that I would like to introduce is called The Crime Scene. So actually, this is uh, um, one of our hottest game shows um, featuring three seasons so far. Um, in this show, a brutal murder takes place and six celebrities are locked up in the studio as suspects and a de detective. And one of the five cast members are, is guilty, it's the real murderer. Um, and the one detective leads the play and the goal is to find the real murderer and solve the case through looking at the clues and props in the crime scene. So let's find uh, let's watch the video together. There has been a murder. Who is the killer? <laughs> Tension runs high as everyone tries to outsmart one another. Exhilarating role-playing murder mystery game show, Crime Scene. In the murder mystery game show, Crime Scene, the cast takes on roles in a story recreated from an actual murder case and tries to find the killer. The detailed, sophisticated studio set recreates a murder scene. Before the show, the cast members pick the roles they want to play. One detective and five suspects scour the set to find clues that are scattered throughout the place. Everyone is a suspect. The culprit must do his or her best to avoid detection. The cast uses evidence collected to narrow down who the murderer is. After the investigation, the cast votes to single out the prime suspect. The suspect is put behind bars. Whether the culprit is caught or not decides who will be awarded the prize money. Crime scene induces high viewer participation. Viewers text in who they think is the culprit, and prizes are offered to those who get the killer correct. Crime scene is based on actual murder cases. Fascinating murder cases from around the world offer a treasure trove of interesting storylines. With meticulous storylines, brilliant acts of deception, and high viewer participation, Crime Scene will make everyone tune in as it did in Korea. Will they catch the killer? A unique role-playing murder mystery game show, Crime Scene. Okay, so that's season three. So can you tell us, um, have there been any changes since season one or how's the production evolved? So actually season one started off with two episodes be being the one murder case. And there were a lot of different sessions um, leading the um, first season. But then starting from the middle of season one, we changed it so that one episode is one murder case. And then um, from season two, you can see that um, there is one detective who is leading the play and then five celebrities, whereas for season one, there was six celebrities were all potential murderers. Um, and as seasons go by, we have more production know-how. So it's been much easier to produce this show. And we draw from more unique murder cases, such as um, presidential candidates murder case in season three as well. Um, so it's been evolving throughout the three seasons, yeah, so far. Okay, very good. Um, and you, can you give us an update on some of the shows that you've presented before, such as Phantom Singer and Hidden Singer? So we just finished airing Phantom Singer 2 because Phantom Singer was actually immensely popular. Um, inter to introduce br briefly, Phantom Singer is like forming a, a quartet um, 
it's all male quartet, just like Il Devo. And then we, for season one, we had four cities concert. But for season two, since it was so popular, we have concert in nine cities around Korea. Um, regarding Hidden, C- Hidden Singer, we just aired season three in Vietnam. Um, and we have successfully aired season one in Italy as well. And we might have potential agreements coming up soon. So, yeah, please keep your eye on Hidden Singer as well. So more commissions for Hidden Singer, but you can't say. Yes, I can't say as of now, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, oh, that's very good. Very encouraging. Okay, well, thank you very much, Christine. Thank you. Okay, and last but not least, uh, Wonsup. Um, nice to see you. Yeah, hello. Would you like to um, introduce your first show? Yeah, sure. Uh, finally, my turn. Um, okay, the first uh, program I would like to introduce, the name is Marriage Needs Break. And this concept is about the marriage uh, break, uh, vacation. So simply say, the celebrity couples are doing a separation temporary for a while, and the spouses watching their each uh, mate through the VCR. So let's see the trailer. Marriage. Marital separation. Marriage and separation. Marriage needs break. Do you trust your spouse? The world's first reality show celebrity couples temporary separations. Marriage needs break. Let's see which celeb couples are in the show. Celebrity marriages are no different from yours. Happily ever after? Are they asking too much? It ends up in a separation agreement. (laughs) As they agree on the terms of their separation, through discussions and negotiations, no TV staff is legally liable. Separation is a go. Indulging their basic instincts and provocative behaviors, craving to be single again, are filmed with nothing off limits. They watch their spouses in each spouse house. Wives with a show hostess and separately husbands with a show host are sneaking peeks on their spouses. How do they respond? End of a trial separation. They are back to normal, still married, more or less happily married. (laughs) By unveiling celebrity couples married life, Ordinary married couples issues, disputes, conflicts, and stresses are clearly portrayed. So, do you, still married, also need a break? The world's first reality show of celebrity couples' temporary separations. Marriage needs break. So, it looks quite comic, yeah? Um, so, what's the unique point of it? Okay, uh, sure. Uh, at the first, uh, this is the uh, first type of the entertainment show in Korea. And the, the other strong point is uh, this is not uh, about the divorce. So this, the purpose is about like, uh, encouraging the couples to get better than, be- than before. And, so, and the strong point for the format is it's really easy to localize and you could choose the celebrity couples really easily in this show. So I think that's a really unique and strong point in this program. Okay, and it's been popular. Sure. More plans for next year? Uh, so uh, 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 I would like to, uh, to explain it after the, the other show, but if I say it right now, uh, we, are, we have like a two main programs, the, this, the marriage this break, and the other the program is like that is watching, and uh, so the next year we are planning to like make make a more strong brand with those programs. So we're gonna plan to making like season three and season four at next year. Right, I see. So this is something that that Jin told me, didn't you? <laughs> Which is that there's a trend for families watching their family members in shows, so watching each other. Which um, which is fascinating to me, and I can see I can see how that would happen. So in the UK, that we've got the show Gogglebox that's um, travelled around the world, where people are uh, watching people watching television. But now you're 
bringing us a trend of families watching each other. So this takes us on to the next show. Yeah, would you like to introduce that? Okay, so uh, for example, like uh, we are uh, the second show. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the second show I want to introduce. The name is Dad is Watching. And this, this is uh, the celebrity fathers uh, watching daughters dating uh, through the VCR. So let's, uh, and the point is uh, the daddies, the reactions. So let's see the trailer. Oh, indignant, irritated, and betrayed. Oh! Watching their daughters out on dates. These dads are having a total meltdown. Oh my God. Their daughters are in love, so dads feel jilted. Oh. How do they cope with their little girl's shocking scenes? The first reality show of its kind, monitoring daughter's dating scenes. Daddy's watching. First and foremost, dad set up a base camp. Celebrity dads, they hit it off. At an operations conference, stage number one is to disclose information on their daughters. Stage number two, let's watch how my daughter does at dating. Resourceful show host and four dads are watching how these daughters are at dating. Oh, does my daughter need more training? Or strategies in a relationship? <laughs> the uncertainty, the fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants aspect reveals a wide spectrum of dating scenes. <laughs> and dads accordingly should wrestle and cope with them, feeling jumpy, concerned, and even touched. For the audience, it's an attention grabber. And the show wraps up with the dad's true feelings. Now, with a better understanding of their big girls, they make heartfelt dad fashions. It'd be remarkably easy to remake all over the globe. The fun part is the dad's reactions, more dramatic than the girls dating. The audience can support daughters of celebs through this dating experience. And it'll help any father grow closer to his daughter. The first of its kind, a dad is watching reality show. Daddy's watching. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, so can you tell us the unique point of this show? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, like as the marriage in this break, this is also the first uh, type of the entertainment show in Korea. And uh, as you know, the, the adults are to, to uh, prefer to be with their mothers rather than their fathers. So it means that the that is really hard to like get close with their, their daughters. So uh, this purpose of this program is to uh, knowing the fathers and knowing about knowing about their daughters and the uh, understanding and encouraging their the daughter's date. Yeah. So and also the. The, the, for, for the format, the strong point is to, is to localize and you could choose the celebrity who has a daughter, yeah. Okay, and any other plans for the format, like a spin-off? Yeah, so uh, for the next season, we are planning for the uh, My Son's Lady. So it means like, a, like a switching the, the panels and not the dolls. So we are, at the next season, we are like to, uh, using the concept for the sons. So it means that we are keep trying to like focusing to satisfying our viewers by using like a multi concepts and I think that it'll be also fun at the next season. So that would be the mother's watching the son's girlfriend? Correctly. So I could watch my son's girlfriend, <laughs> yeah, okay, it's good. Okay, so now I'm going to ask some open questions to you all. Um, first of all, so, my son's girlfriend, what do you think she should watch next? Or what is your favorite show in Korea at the moment that isn't on your own station? Hey, Wan. Well, uh, actually, it is not at the moment, but it's the show that uh, GTV's Christina has brought here, the crime scene. Crime scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Noble. 
and they launch it in summer, every summer decision. So I, I can't wait until next summer. You've got a fan. <laughs> okay, and Helena? I like traveling a lot, and I like eating a lot as well. So especially I like two shows, Better Trip from Earth, because it shows a lot of delicious food. And also I like Abnormal Summit from JTBC. Oh, Abnormal Summit, yeah, yes, yeah. we didn't shows, mention that. Yeah, it shows um, so many exotic things yeah. from different That's country That's the political people. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's interesting for me. Okay. So could you just briefly tell us a little bit about Abnormal Summit in case there's anybody that doesn't know about it? Okay, so the Abnormal Summit is about all the foreign guys who are in Korea, speaks perfect Korean. Um, they gather together just like one of the summit and then they talk about is it being abnormal to blah, blah, blah. So each week we have different theme. Um, and it's been very successful in Turkey as the remake was aired for two years with 52 episodes. Okay. Um, and so what's your favorite show? Um, so I also like Fight for My Way from KBS. I watched it a lot um, because it's kind of realistic and you, anyone, especially younger generation in their 20s and 30s, can relate to that drama. Um, and I also like... For the same reason, I like another O from ZJ as well because um, it's very romantic but realistic at the same time. So which one's that? Sorry, another O. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And one stop. Do you have a favorite show? Uh, recently, I saw the KBS the the uh, Go Back Boo Boo. Uh, what, what's like, the English name? Well, the English is the couple on the back track. It's a story about the couple who is married, the ones to divorce, they go back to the past. Ah. Yeah, and they, they go through knowing that there will be the spot, the, the couple again. Ah, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's based on the very famous uh, webtoon in okay. Korea. Mm -hmm. so it was successful. Okay. Um, and then finally, um, let's think ahead to 2018. Imagine that we're all sitting here again, this time next year, maybe. Um, what can you imagine, what clips we'll be showing of the new things? Do you have anything on your slate coming up that you're excited about? Well, actually, we started um, to air uh, an audition program called The Unit. As, uh, the, the participant of the show as the idol group members which, who made already their debuts but didn't make the success, right? They want to reboot, so they participate to the audition, and then we're gonna have the uh, the unit girl, the unit boy in the end, with nine members each. Right, so it's called the unit? Yeah, the okay. unit. We'll look out for that. Okay, anything you can say, Helena? Uh, I like bad guys. We're gonna have bad guys season two next year. And this is a story about the criminals arrest worse criminals. So it has... The what, sorry? <laughs> the criminals yeah. arrest worse criminals. Oh, so right. yeah, it has twist. So uh, actually we had huge success for season one and I'm lo really looking forward to seeing season two as well. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> um, okay, Christine? Um, so actually we have an update for our whole, whole channel actually. Uh, we only had Friday and Saturday drama one drama time slot uh, until this year, but then we will start to have two drama time slots, which means we're doubling our dramas, and our focus is more on dramas now. Um, some of the dramas that we're going to produce next year or within this year are um, there is this one action drama called Untouchable. It's already on the air now. Um, and another drama is called Misty, and it's a psychological thriller. And the main character, you might know, she was aired in the Queen of Housewives series in Korea. Um, and we have some other romantic comedies coming up, so yeah. Lots going on. And one step, you've mentioned that for next year, uh, you're going to spin the brands can, can, can off. Can I edit? Pardon? Can I edit more about the next year plan? You can't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay, so from my perspective, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the show. I, I think they've been incredibly high quality um, programs. Um, the way I see it is Korea is very special because some territories you look at and you think they've got a reputation for scripted shows like Turkey or unscripted shows like the Netherlands, but I think it's quite unusual to have a reputation across both genres. Um, and I, I think it's very impressive. So congratulations, everybody. And please, will you all join us outside for uh, a networking lunch where you can meet the speakers. Thank you. Thank you.